Three years ago, I spent a whole sleepless night because of the following thought. Why is there no flag for the world and one world flag? We are living in very uncertain times. We are facing humanitarian, resource, and climate crisis, as we heard also before. In this situation, if there is one thing that we need, it's unity. And unity on Earth needs a symbol. My goal is to reactivate a conversation about a flag for the world and what better way to start this topic than by proposing our own One World Flag design. But before we get to that, let's talk about flags. Let's talk about flags, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, flags are the perfect example on how humanity can agree on at least one thing. All national flags on this earth are rectangular in all sorts of color combinations. Well, almost all of them, because there is Nepal and it's, it has a different form. Some flags have a clear message and a clear design, like Japan, the US, or Canada. Others are very similar and hard to depict. Chad and Romania, and let me help you there, the blue of Chad is darker than the blue of Romania. <laughs> and it looks like there was one single person that has designed the flags of Cameroon, Ghana, Senegal, Guinea, Mali, and Congo. <laughs> flags usually are inclusive for some group of people and exclusive for all the others. So for example, if you're here in Munich, you can put up the city flag of Munich in order to show that you're part of the city. Or you can put up the Bavarian flag in order to show that you're part of the state. Or you could put up the German flag in order to show that you're part of the country. You could even put up the EU flag to show that you feel united with 27 other European countries. And let's hope it stays 27 other countries, um, in Great Britain, please stay with us. No Brexit. No Brexit. <laughs> but what do you put up if you want to show that you're part of the whole world, a truly global citizen? Well, some of you might say, there's a flag for that, and that's the flag of the United Nations. And actually, the flag of the United Nations has a lot of potential to be the one world flag. But not every person on this planet is represented by the United Nations. And the flag of the United Nations is involved in scandals and conflicts all over the world. And don't, 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 don't get me wrong, because I've been to Cameroon this year, and I've seen what positive impact the UN has on the world. But actually, more than focusing on unity, the UN is also focusing a lot on partisanship and veto rights. So I think we need a neutral, new flag for the world. And I'm not alone. There has been some other people that thought, OK, we need a flag for the world. And those are some of the proposed designs. And I would like to go through all of them with you, but let's pick out three of the most popular ones. This is Oscar Pernfeld's international flag of planet Earth. And if I would have more time for my talk, I could explain the design to you. It's well thought through, but maybe a little bit too complicated. This is John McConnell's Earth Day flag, and this is beautiful. I really like this flag. But why should we only show one part of the world, or actually how one part of the world looked like when this photo was taken 46 years ago? And this is another flag design, um, and it's a, it's a world flag. And are there any parents in this room? Any parents in this room? 
Would you give this flag to your kids to draw? <laughs> the simple fact that you don't see any of those flags anywhere flapping in the wind was enough reason for me to reactivate the topic. I think we need a clear message and a clear design as simple as possible. The only symbol that we need is a blue circle, the blue planet, the place we all share and the only place where our species can survive on. That's it, a blue circle. And in an ideal world, a blue circle would work as a flag, but in our real world, we actually need a background in order to hang the flag. And that was when my headache started. Which color should I take for the background? How could I define one color combination that will be accepted and make sense? Every background and color means something. I spoke to a lot of my friends, and finally, we found the solution. The world is permanently changing. Nations are changing, borders are changing, the climate is changing, and so on. Everything is permanently changing. So we needed also a changing background to the flag. And digitally, this changing background was working pretty well already. But how do you actually produce a flag with a changing background? The answer was transparency. <laughs> and, and together with my friend, the artist Nani Weichsel, the first One World flag was produced. In this way, the flag is permanently changing because you see a changing world through it. If you hang the flag, you can see your home on Earth as well as our common home, the blue planet. This is my flag design that is minimalistic. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, this is my flag design for a flag that is minimalistic, easy understandable, and reproducible. Just take a blue circle and you have it. The purpose of this flag is to give a sense of unity, belonging, and hope to the people hanging it. Thank you very much.